This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. Hey there everyone and welcome back to In Range. This is episode number two. Today we're going to be talking about two very important things when it comes to managing your diabetes and that is carb counting and reading nutrition labels. Now one of the first things we did when I got back from the hospital after being diagnosed was go through our entire pantry and label things depending on how many carbs were in each of them. Now that, that really helped us when we were still learning how to read all this gobbledygook on here and that's exactly what we're going to do today. Now, reading nutrition labels can be a little bit tricky, so we're just going to go through and uh, figure out how many carbs are in some basic lunch items. So what I have here are just some pretty simple ingredients for a lunch. Uh, we got some bread, some ham, condiments, bag of chips, pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to go through each one of these items and figure out how many carbs the total meal is going to be. So why don't we just start with the bread here. First thing we need to do is find the nutrition facts label. It's right here. And the only number that we're interested in here is the total carbohydrate. Now, don't confuse this with the sugar. Carb carbs are in sugar, they aren't sugar themselves. So, total carbohydrate, 22 grams. And if you look over here, right under where it says nutrition facts, serving size, one slice. So, each slice of bread is 22 grams of carbs. So, if we were to have two slices of bread for a sandwich, that would be 44 grams. So, let's remember that. Uh, next, let's move on to the condiments. We have some mayonnaise here, which, if we look at the nutrition facts, one tablespoon is one gram of carbohydrate. Now, for that amount of mayonnaise, one gram, at this point, I'm just considering that to be a free food. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't have any carbs in it. Just too little to be noticed. And if we look at the mustard, same thing. There are actually zero carbs in this. So don't need to worry about that either. Ham. Now, I can tell you right now, the ham is not going to have any carbs in it at all. Pretty much all meats, cheeses, things like that are completely devoid of carbohydrates, so you don't even have to worry about that. Uh, pickles, pretty much the same thing. If we look here, about three quarters of a spear is one gram. Why you would eat three quarters of a spear, I'm not sure, but pretty much a free food. Now, the chips. That's a different matter. If we look at that, one package and servings per container is one. So if I were to eat the whole bag, it would be 15 grams of carbohydrate. So we got to remember to add that to our bread, 44 plus 15. And finally, a soda. Now, it's important to make the distinction that it is diet soda. If this were a regular soda, it would probably have about as much carbs in it as the bread. But because it's a diet, we look here. Serving size, one can, total carb, zero grams. So soda is a free food too. So we have 22 grams for each slice of bread, 15 grams for the chips. Let's go add that up. So now let's think here. We had two slices of bread, and each one of those were 22 grams. So that would be 22 plus another 22. Then we also had a bag of chips, which was 15 grams. Now, if we add all that up, that would be 59 grams of carbohydrate. Now, the next thing we need to do is convert that into carbohydrates. So right now, we're dealing with grams. But whole carbohydrates are each made up of 15 grams. So to make that a whole carbohydrate, which is much easier to think of, all we have to do is divide that by 15. Now, 15 doesn't go into 59 quite evenly but roughly it's about four carbs. You don't have to be incredibly specific when you're converting to whole carbs. And that's pretty much it. If you're on insulin, you just multiply this number by whatever your insulin rate is. Uh, that's what I do, or actually I enter the grams into my pump manually and it delivers the uh, dosage. If you're not on insulin, you just make note of this in your logbook or whatever you use, and after that, you're pretty much good to go. 
So hopefully that will get you started learning how to read nutrition labels and everything. It really helps to just know the basics before you stare at those panels of information. I highly recommend you do what we did and go through your pantry and organize things and label things depending on how many carbs are in each one of them. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys later and good luck staying in range. Thank you.